Hey, good afternoon, guys. We're going to go replace a toilet for somebody. Who knew there were so many different requirements for measurements on toilets? So there's uh, two main things you gotta, well, one main thing you gotta measure are the bolts off the wall. I'm driving right now, so. And that's called the rough-in measurement. The rough-in measure, the rough-in measurement could be 12 inches or 14 inches. And that's the measurement between the two bolts that hold the toilet to the floor and the wall. So if you're gonna buy a new toilet, you gotta to measure those bolts, make sure those bolts are either 12, uh, 12 inches off the wall or 14 inches off the wall. And that'll tell you which type of toilet you're gonna get. That's gonna be the first part. Second part is, do you want a round seat or do you want an oval seat? If you're a bigger person, or if you're a man, you might want an oval seat. I prefer only do oval, like oval seats because it's a uh, oval, a little more room. And the round seats are for smaller spaces, I would assume, or uh, almost like a child's, I consider them like a child's toilet. And then the next thing is the height of the toilet. Well, the height of the toilet, there's basically three separate, three, three ranges. They have a standard height, which is to me, really low to the ground. And that is approximately 14 inches to the top of the bowl, not the seat. Lift the seat up and measure the top of the bowl. And from the bowl to the floor, I'm at a red light. The bowl to the floor is roughly 14 inches. That's gonna be a standard height. 14, uh, 14, 14 and a half inches. The next one up from that is called a chair height. That's gonna be approximately 16 and a half to 17, 17 and a half inches off the ground to the porcelain, not the seat, the porcelain bowl. And then there's another one that's a, a extra tall. And I don't have the, I think that one's over 18 inches. Uh, the newest, the most common that I've seen in newer houses, which like we're going to go put uh, one in now, is a, it's called the chair height. They're about 16 and a half inches to the porcelain to the floor. So we are actually, and it's a 12 inch. So we are actually taking out a 12 inch uh, rough in toilet with a round bowl, which is basically really, really small. And we are going to replace it with a standard or a uh, yeah a a, uh, a chair height toilet, which is 16 and a half inches, 12 inch rough in, and uh, going from a round bowl to an oval bowl. So the bathroom is a very small bathroom, but it's a lot easier for them to get up and down with a higher seat and a larger seat. So they asked if we could, uh, if I could go uh, install the toilet. So that's what we're gonna go do. So the first thing you have to do is you have to shut that valve off, drain the toilet, flush the toilet, take a sponge and soak up as much water in there as possible. So like I said, this is a low toilet and it's a round bowl. The next one's gonna come out a little bit farther. It's like 16 inches, it goes out to 18 inches. That's the difference. And we have two helpers at this house. So I disconnected the water down here. I shut the valve off, disconnected it, drained all this out with a sponge, took a plunger, got as much of that out as possible with the plunger, and then took the rest out of that with a sponge. 
And now either I can take it out in two pieces where I undo those two bolts, take the top off, bring it out, and then come back for the bottom, or do the whole thing at once. I think I'm gonna do the whole thing at once because it is a smaller toilet. And that's just a two bolt on the bottom on the floor. That bag ready? So what I was talking about was a 12, no, I mean a, the rough end is from the wall to that bolt and that bolt right there. And these are the 10 inch. Come on, cat. Once you get the toilet off and you clean the floor best you can you can see this was a 12 inch and they moved it back for some reason to a 10 inch i mean a 14 inch and they moved it back to a 10 inch set back off the wall so now you got to use this uh the 10 inch rough in toilets so anyway so once you get it to this point you're going to take those two bolts out just go dispose of them and then install the new ones that come with the toilet or the toilet seal right there once these are in then you take your wax ring either that type or this type this is just wax and you put it on the bottom of your new toilet versus this one you take out of this housing and you stick it this is an alignment ring it just helps you realign the hole when it's getting it into there so the first thing i gotta do is i gotta take those old bolts out and then we'll put the wax ring on and then we'll just put the toilet back in. So once you set it down, you gotta compress that wax. And you don't want the bolts to do it because you'll actually break the porcelain. So what I do is I just sit on it and I kind of wiggle it. And then it finds its way home. Then you take the provided caps or the screws. Like that, nice and solid. Take your two caps.
take the top of that bolt and you can break them off so the caps fit. All right, so now we gotta do the bowl. This particular one, everything's, the bolts are already in it with rubber seals. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the rubber gasket, this one's rubber, and you can see it has the outline of the bolt on the bottom. like that these bolts are what's going to hold it into there Take these plastic washers, push them up. And then it comes with this tool, and that's so you don't have to climb underneath there to help you put the bolt up the knot up there. You go back and forth until it's porcelain on porcelain. So you just keep going back and forth, even each side a little tighten. See, now it's porcelain. There's no movement in it, and I'm not going too tight. Just snug them up. Just make sure. There, that's done. And then the next step is we gotta hook the water line up right here. Let's put the toilet seat on. All right, let's turn on the water. No leaks. All right, so let's do the let's do the maiden flush here, the first flush, and see how it works. Good to go. All right, let's put the top on. So the new, new toilet is installed, checked for leaks, there are no leaks. The only thing I suggest is every, you know, every time you're in the bathroom, just make sure that valve is not leaking. They do have a tendency to leak over time, sometimes just the packing when you use them. But check the, the feed line right there. That was dry, that's dry, around the bowl is dry, the basement is dry underneath, and uh, we're good to go.